It's over, baby. Welcome back to Wake Up Basketball. Guys, man, we've been waiting for this. The chat has been asking for it. So we're just gonna go right to it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got two-time NBA champion, a streamer on Twitch, Richard's former teammate, an enjoyer of Dunkin' Donuts, not a sponsor, but let's just call it what it is. Ladies what? and gentlemen, J.R. Smith. What up, Swish? What's going on? What's happening? Let's go. Okay, Swish, Swish. On, just, just, so, just so people can just know, because we used to always marvel at, at it, tell them how you take your coffee. Oh, man. <laughs> so, so this is a good Dunkin'. Right? I switched, though. I switched. No, no, well, tell, tell them how you used to, then. Tell them how I you used, used to. to. So my, my thing was, I used to get a medium coffee or a large coffee, depending on... You know, depending on how I'm feeling, nine times out of ten it was a large. But there's a large coffee, eight and eight. Eight creams, eight sugars. God damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? That's this not coffee a anymore, Swish. So I switched to almond milk. Oh, 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 a, that, oh you went to the healthy almond milk. He's like, I, I went to switch. I got that, a medium with milk. six sugars, so. <laughs> The almond milk's not gonna help that. No, nah, you know what? It helps my stomach, man. It helps oh, my weird. stomach because I'm always on a golf course and shit, so I can't afford to be trying to run to the bathroom and I'm on a fifth <laughs> hole or something. This shit too far apart. It don't work out like that. Hey, that's a great tip. Okay, that, great. that's that's a heck of a. All right, Swish, man. We had so many topics. My guy Los over here. He, he guaranteed that the Nets were going to sweep. He thinks that my idea... Okay, now you know this. No, 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 Swish. Because you know how grueling the playoff runs are, right? Sure. How, like, your body physically, mentally, emotionally, you're not sleeping. Like, it's 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 tough. For sure. Especially when you idea, see Batman and Robin going down. Oh, yeah. Is my idea of resting both those guys in Game 6 and putting all your chips in for a Game 7 the worst idea? I'm not saying for, do it. For Brooklyn? But, yeah. No, I would do that. You would I mean, do it? I would do that. Because at the end of the day, those the, those other two guys, healthy, in a game seven, I'm taking my I'm I'm rolling with Brooklyn all day. Especially if now, they're if it's, if it's they're mediocre for two games, I can't roll with that because you mess up the chemistry, the flow, these dudes coming at you, knowing you hurt and banged up. You got Drew Holiday out there, defensive play, what, first team all defense. I mean, he ain't no slouch. So you got people, Middleton is an all-star. So, I mean, there's other legit dudes out there. If you catch, you know, you catch that fade half step, and it can be trouble. Can I, I, like ask, I like that. Can I ask you guys, because this is the most surprising shit I've ever heard from M. Like, you guys were part of the 2016 Cavs. You know every game counts. This is unbelievable for me to hear, even here from both you guys. It, every it game counts. counts, but you have room when you have superstars. Healthy. If you got legit superstars healthy, then you got you you have more leeway than most teams, mm -hmm. and a lot of teams can't say that they have that. All right, yeah. I can't deny. It. Yeah, you guys were there. You guys well, were there. I, we I mean, only, listen. We only say this, and I, and I know Switch is speaking from a space of like he knows what Kevin Durant's body feel felt like the next day after that game. He for knows sure. what Jr. Smith's body or what uh, what uh, James Harden body felt like after that next day like you're exhausted because that is the most like that is the most intense moment like you know in the regular season we all go about 80 percent and then in the last quarter we up it to like 90 95 but not many dudes are going a hundred percent in the regular season come that postseason you're going you're starting off at 95 percent that, so it's like just that from that mental space alone. I mean, the mental space he's he's going into the game with no or the last game without both of them. Then he's going into it with James struggling starting off. I think it was like one for six until he like really started getting to going in the second half. So he taking that on as well as got PJ Tucker right there, uh, a two time MVP. He proving something to him. I mean, not proving something to him, but more of like proving his, his self where his worth is, that's a lot to take on as as you go into a series. Yeah. Hey, hey, I got a question. This might be like out of nowhere, but um I've I don't think we've ever had a chance to ask like a player, because Jar, you were in a bubble last year with the Lakers. What was that like being in the bubble? Like as a player, I you probably got got that question a lot of times, but what was it like being there? As a player, it was like 
uh, it was it was cool, and then it wasn't. Like at first, it was cool because you get the <laughs> like no, because at first, like you know, it's it's all who you around with your, your boys and y'all kicking it and whatever. But once you once it really sinks in that you can't leave and nobody else can just like come in and out, it's just like whoa, bro. This is not what. This is not it. Well, your family, you try to get your family in there, and they got to spend a, a, a ten oh, days in the hotel room. It's like, yo, how am I gonna get four kids and a lady in a room for four, for ten days to to do what? To come in to, to come in here and then not be able to get out. So Jr., what do you have to say to the people? I mean, it's all NBA Twitter idiots who say the bubble champ, like the bubble championship was easier. That was a cheat. What do you say to them when that comes up? I, t- I tell them like this. If you think it's so easy, go whatever your house or your apartment or whatever, go sit in that closet and stay in the closet <laughs> for 48 hours. And you and tell have them, them drop food off easy. And have them drop food off to you. Right. That's drop, what they drop did. That- random how- food <laughs> off to you. That's how like- is the food? It got better as it went on because you know I, I think it's because of you. Complaining and stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna take that. I mean, I gotta. I, gotta, I know a guy who's pretty powerful and can make some shit happen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And you know, some shit started changing around there. But RJ was there. I mean, at first it was like, oh fuck. And then uh, you know, it started warming up. It's cool. You start seeing this dude playing pickleball. He can go play golf and all of that. But then it's like you're at Disney, but you can't go to Disney. What? Yeah, was, that's... I don't know. It was weird. Nah, the but thing... I ain't gonna lie though. It was it was it, it was a good run. It was a good team. I, I was some of the best hoop I've seen because it was like no bullshit. It was just straight hoop. Swish, swish. Now we've been in some of the craziest games in NBA history. Will you express to them what it's like running out to an NBA Finals game with no <laughs> audience? That shit's eerie. That shit was like. It was so weird. Like, literally, you got, like, you know, 15, 20 people in family, in the family section, and that's it. And they're not allowed to cheer. They're not supposed to. Wait, wait, they can't cheer? No. No. Because because it's so small, and it's like, yeah, because you remember, uh, who was it got into it with Rondo? Yeah, Westbrook said something. So it's like, it's so small in there, and you can hear everything. So they're like, listen, you can clap, you can cheer, but you got to, like, you gotta keep what, it like. What light. about yeah. what about what about those virtual fans? Like you couldn't hear them. It's just a screen. No, they no. punched you just a that zoom. That was all PA bro. system, bro. bro all all, like everything that you heard, as far as like fans applaud and everything like that, that was only on TV. That was not in the actual arena. All right, so well, you're t- just, hey. you're just like in a gym, like you're just at like at yeah, a practice, all- basically. Yeah, and for me, like, that's why I really tried to, like, once I figured out that I wasn't going to be, like, playing and whatever, I really tried to change that road and try to get dudes hyped up and talking shit on the bench and just overly communicate because it's so quiet in there. It's like you really have to be your own fire, you know, which is what shouldn't, what you would think shouldn't be hard. But when you used to playing off of 20,000 people in the finals and game sevens and shit like that, that shit is different. You just, like, you walking out to practice, like, all right, well, shoot it around. <laughs> It's like, no, yeah. motherfucker, you playing in game five. And like, <laughs> it's like, bro, that shit was weird. Hey, JR, uh, chat wants to know what percentage of the time in the bubble was spent playing video games? Because I heard about these Madden battles. Were you involved? In- bro, I was involved for a second. And then, like, you know, they started, Bron and Cheese start cheating, man. They start doing these <laughs> trades. And you can, out, out of nowhere, you know, Braun would get Saquon Barkley in Tampa Bay with, with Tom Brady and uh, Julio Jones as his receiver. Like, yo, where are you getting these players from? How are y'all just trading people like this? Like, what is, is anyone about? calling out Braun for that? I mean, we was all, everybody was calling out everybody for it. Uh, I'm not going to lie, though. Marquis uh, Morris, he's probably one of the best defensive Madden players I've ever seen, bro. Like, Man. to move the ball on, on on against them in Madden was, was tough. But no, when you got a brother, like, when you got a brother that's your twin, that y'all just like going against each other the whole time. See, th- this is what's so funny, man. Is that like, this is one thing I found Swish when I've gotten into the media, right? And like you and Bron are really, really close. People think like we don't call him out on his shit or he doesn't get shit. 
That motherfucker, we give him a lot of shit. Like yeah, whenever he posts silly shit, shows, we give him a like we post shit on social media or if he does some stuff, like, and he's okay with it. Like I troll him all the time because he's used to it. Like we're used to 100%. fucking with him. Wait, so yeah. so have either of you ever called him Lamicky? No. No. Okay, no. so see that that would be a troll though. Like that's a troll. Mm, that's not a know. troll. That's like a. That's a. I don't know you. I read Twitter and I thought this <laughs> right. was a clever troll. What a exactly. real good troll. Yeah. What a good troll is is, I don't know. Like him posting a congratulations for the twentieth thousandth time to one of the eight hundred awards he's won. Like <laughs> engine putting just a kid from Akron. Like that's a just, good troll. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Jr. I want. I wanted no, to ask you. Oh yeah. Go ahead. My bad. I cut you off. No. 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 You got it. No, I was just wondering about the process because you weren't on a team before the playoffs. And then right. a contender like the Lakers called you up. What is that process? Like, do you hit the gym or you just showed up because you just have it in you? And like, are you talking to Braun through this process? Or how do you get ready to try out for the team? And then one, once you make the team, just get in the shape, catch up with everybody. Well, I was already working out. I never, I, I wasn't, it wasn't in my mind that I was, um, you know, wasn't going to play anymore. So it was, really, it was like eventually what team is going to call for me. Uh, so it wasn't like just narrowed down to the Lakers. You know, once they did call, it was just, you know, I, I pretty much knew with practice and I, I know the, the, the roles uh, pretty fast. And um, so it wasn't really like I was going to be, you know, getting out there playing right away. So I had time to actually get in playing shape. So we play a lot of pickup and stuff like that. But it was, um, I'm just glad I don't have to get in that gym like that no more, I'm not, honestly. <laughs> I want you back on that Lakers squad. I don't know about you guys. No, 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 no. Lakers are at home right now. Lakers are at home. Lakers I'm saying home. next year. Saying next year. I don't That's know, sad, Swish. Man. Swish, what you about to do, man? What you about to what? do next year, Swish? What are, you, what are you about to do? Next year? I mean, I will play, bro, but it's like, I don't know. I don't want to have to feel like I'm begging people to play basketball, bro. It's like, yeah. no disrespect to a lot of, again, to a lot of these guys in the NBA, because obviously I've had my turn and eventually I pushed some older guy out the league. So I respect it from that standpoint, but some of these guys just aren't that good. And I'm not gonna sit here and just, you know, kiss y'all ass just to play basketball anymore. Like I played a long enough time to where I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm happy about, you know, I went out of champion. Uh, I got two rings. Um, I got an individual award which was fucking rare and wasn't expected. So, I mean, I had a good career. I'm happy wait. about it. Bro, wait, you wait, can 100% this... still play, bro. You 100%. Like, I know I I know I can still play, but it's just, it, it, it's a lot for me to go into in that environment. You know, like for me, it's like, as, as cool as people think I am, the other side of the business don't think it's that cool. So for me to walk around buildings and stuff like that, I feel like I always have to be on eggshells. Who's looking at me? Yeah. Who's kind of say this? It's like, that shit is nerve wracking for me. That's just like, I stress out about shit like that. I had to actually talk to my therapist about it. And that shit is just like, it's a lot. So to be finally removed and be able to look on it on the other side, it's like, it's kind of relieving. No, like, isn't that crazy that we got to remind fans that you guys are real people? You guys are human beings and they're just not like just playing basketball. Like that's that's what's insane. But I want to ask you guys, because this is rare that we have both of you. Feature chat says, was Daddy Rich a good teammate in Cleveland? The 216 love you guys for life. What? Was he a good teammate? Rich, yo, no bullshit. Rich is like Rich and Rich and Channel, once they came to the team, they it changed the whole dynamic of it. Because we had we had literally so much fun. It was always so so tense. Because obviously Brian is so serious and wants to outwork everybody, and from I remember from day one, Rich started calling Brian out on some, you know, oh you want to beat everybody at the gym like normal? Okay, you want to act like you're doing something different? Like and it was it was like shit no, like it's that. Just it was just fun, like, man. like you just got to sometimes that's the it's crazy, and that I think I was one way because I was super sarcastic, but then Channing fun. is super goofy. Yeah. Right. So then it was just a it was a it was a weird combination. It just in all of this, you got to remember to have fun. And like sometimes you can lose that. Like Swish, what year is this for you? Uh, this was oh, wait, how many years did you play? Let me say how many years did you play? 17. 
Bitch, 17, retire, man. I 17, man. We both play 17, man. We'll hey, start a man. podcast called 17 and over. I'm with it. I'm with it. I wanted to, my, my only thing was my goal is to play 20. I always wanted to play 20. Oh. I came out of high school, so I came out early. So I was like, you know what? From 18 to 38, that's my that's my cat right there. But you know, life has its own goals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. God, you <laughs> bum. 17 years, two championships. Six that's what I'm saying, bro. I can't complain. I'm not like, I don't want people to think that I'm so, you know, bitter old dude like some of these other guys. Like, I had a great, you know, a great spell in, this, in the league. So I really can't complain. It's yeah, Switch, I did, well. but don't but Switch. I did the same thing, man. Once I, I was like, either I could wait around for a call or I could be like, I'm done. I couldn't do it. I couldn't work yeah. out not knowing. Like, I, I, I just couldn't do it, man. So I, I do understand the difficulties in that kind of, well, I ain't going to beg nobody to play basketball. Right, like, it's, it's crazy, you know? Yeah. You know I want to play, but she's just like, all right, well, she's got to do this and this and that first. Like, bro, what more do I have to do on my resume to jump through hoops to let you know that I want to play ball? Like, I don't know. If I got to do more than that, then, I mean, hey, take your ball Listen. and go to your park, and I'm going to go back to mine. Yo, JR, listen, I always thought, um, because I watch you in the Nuggets, the Knicks, um, I I, I think, like, of course you know you can still play, but I I feel like you could have, uh, your career could be extended to the point where, like, like how, like, Ray Allen was, like, just, like, a knockdown shooter. Like, you're on that level of, like, you're one of the best three-point shooters in in NBA history. Like, like, literally, like, statistically. Um... Appreciate it, man. I, yeah, like I, I, I mean, I, I know I can still play. It's just, I can easily know. see that role, like you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just For tough, sure. man, because the, these teams. And and I will say this, Swish, you know this. Somebody asked me like, what's what's one thing that the NBA does that's probably wrong? Is that they they go way too young. Like you'll just put a team of 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 fifteen guys all under twenty six on a roster. Like, if right. that's not some of the dumbest things that you can do, mainly because, like, when you start the league at 17, 18, like you, Swish, how many veterans did you have around you? When I – the whole team was the veterans. When yeah. I was – I had P.J. Brown, B.D., Daryl Armstrong, David Wesley, uh, Lee Nalon. Like, I had some OGs when I came in. Yeah, now they're now these teams don't have as many OGs. Like that's why Miami Heat was like, "Hey, Udonis, you're gonna stay here forever, forever. just because we need we need those type of people." They don't because yeah. that's the thing. Miami Heat have been one of the most successful organizations in like basketball history, right? Multiple championships, very consistent. Like, what's one thing that you normally see with them? They always have veterans on their roster. Even when they were young and rebuilding, they kept a guy like UD, and UD did his role. But then you have other organizations that are just consistently stupid that don't have teams like that. No disrespect to the Sacramento Kings, but who's the veteran on the Sacramento Kings? Who's the veteran that's gonna be like, I don't care what the coach is saying, y'all are playing like dog shit. Yep. Right. And so it's like you see these franchises that are consistently good. And then if you're going to take one or two things from them. So it's like guys like Swish, guys like myself, we do age ourselves out. But it's also because there's less value in a veteran presence because sometimes teams can get intimidated when people, you know, our veterans can kind of call them out on their stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's it's a great a, It's point. almost like. It's like for I, I think it's like for for them they look at it like a like a high paid assistant coach as a veteran you know because the coaches are, really aren't playing them as well but the but the the voice and the value is all the way there with the players because they understand and they respect you your game they watched you they like you know they know you've been through the trenches so it's like you have that to where the, the players that you know the, the star players and the up and coming players are going to listen to you more than they're going to listen to the coach because they you know they just it's just the way it is so it's like they look that's how i feel like the the, the game look has weeded they weeded uh veteran players out because it's like we're high paid assistant coaches well so featured chat was actually asking what for both of you guys rich and jr was there a specific moment yeah, when they stopped when they stopped offering us contract. What was the last straw? <laughs> when yeah. they stopped offering us contract. <laughs> if I had a contract right now, I'd still be playing. For sure. sure. I had yeah. to nah, nah, Yeah. No, nah, but like why are they why is it like that now? Like why cuz I do remember like 
10 plus years ago like veterans were really really important like why are they just less because like, it's cheaper they want to go cheaper it's, it's much cheaper because the the vet minimum is at a certain number so they can get these two-way guys for next to nothing and then just keep bodies out there especially teams that know they're not going to win nobody it's there it's like it's almost like the economy now. There's no, it's trying to make it no middle ground. It's going to be people who's making fifty million and two way guys. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, you know, that's what they that's what they paying for. Yeah. That's crazy. That's oh, well, crazy. just look at the Miami Heat when they added Andre Iguodala and Jay Crowder. All of a sudden, you add veterans to a good young group of Duncan Robinson, Bam Adebayo, uh, Tyler Hero, and they look really, really good. Then fast forward, look at the Phoenix Suns. They were. I, I don't. I don't buy that whole. They went eight and zero in the bubble. Like that. Like that. That was cool, but no. it was cute more than impressive. I mean, look at OKC with CP. Yeah, add CP three. But you added Jay Crowder and CP three to the Phoenix Suns, and all of a sudden here they are in the conference finals, putting veterans and helping them like grow and mature young players. That is the obvious formula. That like you know. Hey, by the way, do you want to know James Jones, who was our teammate? who is now the GM the in GM. Phoenix. Do you know where he used to be? He used to be in Miami. So he learned from Pat Riley. So it's like, I don't know. That's why it's funny, man, when you come over to this side of the league, man, Swish, and you start to see, it's like, oh, I see that team still doing stupid shit like they were 20 years ago. It For just sure. doesn't change, man. It don't change. You would think that these teams would just understand, like, you need that experience on your roster, like, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny. Really because, dumb. You know what's the funniest thing about it? Because every time we turn the TV on, it's like this. Oh, they need shooting. 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 Then they they sign a slasher or somebody who's never not used to making being good in big situations. And it's just like, bro, are you kidding me? And then they see you like, oh man, how you doing? Everything good? You, you in shape? The family's good? good. Yeah, everything's great. Did you just say you needed a shooter? All right, cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk feature. Let's talk uh, 2K a little bit because feature chat. Uh, Nit Sudge says J.R. Smith was always the best value pick in 2K fantasy drafts uh, in the mid rounds. Won, won three championships with you. What's your reaction to your 2K player? You know, I'll, I'll, it's funny because how my 2K player is is how I always envision myself playing. <laughs> and. You rarely hear that. You rarely hear that. People you know, being happy with them like, on 2K. Bro, whenever I whenever I talk to people or whenever I'm in the streets and people are like see me like, yo, bro, they when I used to take so much money with people with you on 2K, like literally, <laughs> like and go crazy about it. And just and look, like me hearing that, like, damn, man, I wish to, like they would let the leashes off so I could actually do this shit. <laughs> but it's <laughs> it was it was it's dope to hear. I swear. <laughs> Hey, JR, I'm, I'm a kind of a crazy sneakerhead guy, and I always thought you were kind of one of the low-key sneaker guys in the NBA. Like, I still remember that that Denver dunk. I always remember the cool gray 11s. Like, that was crazy. And then you, were, you wore Braun and Kyrie's. You switched off and on in your Cavs years. So my yeah. question is, of your teammates, who had the best signature kicks? Ooh. Ooh. Of my teammates, I had Melo had his own shoe, AI had his own shoe, Kyrie, Bron. I gotta go with Kai. Yeah. CP too. Damn. That's a lot I of agree. Right I agree there. with that. I agree with that. <laughs> I, <laughs> right, he's like, that's I know a lot of six. No, yeah, the, I, go look, I, 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 rock, I rocked the bronze for a minute. I didn't really get into it. I, I had like a foot thing and I needed like a bigger shoe. So I walked over. Those things are strong. They feel sturdy. They feel like work boots, dog. Like they're dope. They, they are definitely heavy, but I don't know what technology they using over there. Cause he, every shoe he's had has a little spring in that toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. No, nah, it feels good. Them Kyrie's feel like you're on some, like you're on some skis. Like you're just gliding. Oh, stopping, man. Starting. Those Kai's is Kai's vicious with the shoe game. No, and forwards and centers are wearing Kai's. That's that's how you know it's a good shoe when players. No, when forwards and centers start wearing those Kobe's, that's what we had to cut it off. You can't be seven. <laughs> what's the what's the what's the what is it, RJ? What's the motto? You can't be seven foot and wear ankle socks and and, and, and uh, low tops. Yeah, you can't no, do I, it, bro. I, I never wore, I never wore the Kobe's. I, like I think I might. have. Yeah, I don't think I ever. You wore never wore Kobe's. Kobe's? 
No, because I, I was like, see, Swish wanted to go different shoes every time. I was one of those Nike signature guys. Remember, I, we, we showed one of those yeah, shoes. Yeah, the hyper Nike would just send me like yeah. with my own colorways. So I was like, look, I ain't got a signature shoe, but I got my own colorways. Like, so, you know, I, I don't have that to. That was more valuable to me. What? That was way more valuable to me than wearing the colorways? shoes and shit. Hell yeah. The colorways with your own initials and shit on it. Yes. Kill it. Yeah, that, that, that but you so, know, so, so I never, and I wouldn't even like, there was years where I was like trash and Nike was like, here's your colorways. I was like, give them, come on, let's go. Bro, I was so sick because like Nike was, when I first signed with Nike, uh, I had got out of Adidas because Adidas would send me everything. So I was wearing fucking the Nikes at, uh, I was wearing Mellows at the Rucker. So Adidas shredded my shit. So I go to the Nike. Well, you, and like, Yo. also, also, you went to an Adidas party and you were wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> Yeah. You went to an Adidas. You went to an Adidas yeah. party at All Star at All Star Weekend. Don't like switch. It's okay. We can For lead sure. into these. these are growing moments. These are no. I'm not going. To I'm, not, I'm, I'm just telling you, bro. For sure. I mean, it was crazy because I always wanted to sign with Nike. My dad was like, "No, bro. You go with Adidas. You been with Adidas. They gonna pay you more and all this shit." I'm like, "Bro, I want to wear Nike." So I did it and everything I could to get out of it, which actually was <laughs> successful, but. The, Wait, so that, uh, was on, that was on purpose to just get out of it? No, I feel yeah, like you, were, I talk, you I, were talking to your Adidas rep and you're at the Adidas And I was team. talking to him at the All-Star game with Air Forces on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. He was like, yo, man, you know, you're making me look bad. You can't do that. Da, da, da. I'm like, all right, He's cool. like, uh, I just walked out. He's like, like, all right, drop me like, then. All right. I love right. that. Well, hey, JR, it seems like you're contemplating life. It's actually life. a dumb move, though. It's actually a very dumb move. Why do you say that say now? That. Why do you say that now? Why? Because I was I, I, I came under a class. It was like me, Sebastian, Dwight, Josh Smith, and everybody started getting their own shoes after that. It was like Dwight went this way, Josh went this way. I'm like, oh no, the bag is coming. <laughs> I left it. And you left the bag. I, I left, left the bag. The, I left the bag, bro. I left the bag. I, and then hey, Nike it's was worth, like, it's Nike worth it's wasn't Nike. This, but Nike was Nike was notorious for not sending their shit on time because everybody wanted to wear their shit, like being like low key stingy with their shit. Like Adidas, bro, Adidas would send my shit for the whole family. Brothers, sisters, aunts, moms, cousins, like everybody would get shit. Nike, you get you're getting two t shirts. <laughs> hey, know, I swear to God, we better get the horses. Nike stuff. From this, but then I once I once once after New York though my my shit started jumping and started going crazy just because you know everybody was really on me so Nike really had to start pumping me. Yo, Swish, who, who you got in the Western Conference, man? Because we don't let you go soon. So who you got in the Western Conference? In the West, Kawhi's out, man. That's fucked up. Uh, I'm going with Utah, <laughs> man. Okay. Oh, Utah. They're down three two. So you yeah. know, you still going to Utah? Okay. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix versus Utah. Then, who you got? I'm going with Phoenix versus Utah. With CP. With CP. See, the, the, here's my thing about it because I think Devin, I think Devin, uh, Devin and Donovan is gonna go at it. I just want to see how CP does in the mid range with uh, with Rudy. With, uh, with Rudy, that's He's a tough like shot. He gonna light Rudy ass. That's up. a tough shot when you shoot over light. ten feet, bro. You shoot the UAU. I ain't the same arc, bro. That's a I tough know, shot. I, but I'm just saying though, like he been like that's his shot though. That's his. That is his shot. But I haven't seen him shoot it like that consistent over somebody that's nine feet long. <laughs> All right, Rudy, well, Go, Rudy Gobert. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jr. Uh, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, it seems Absolutely, like you're contemplating bro. life after basketball, how much golf are you playing with your kids now? And is that the plan going oh, yeah, forward and figure it out from there? Yeah, I'm golfing right now uh, as much as I can, trying to make this uh, senior tour when I get, when I turn 55. Oh. Uh, I just got I just got my acceptance letter back to school, so I'm going to college this fall, Carolina nice. A&T. Oh. oh, okay. So, you know, got some, you know, Trying to work upstairs real quick. I worked the body long enough, so I gotta work this brain. So, hey, hey Jr., real quick, real quick. Um, I, cause you said we were talking before the break. You said you like you're in Jersey right now, right? Yeah. 
So I, 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 before I moved into this house, I was looking at houses and I was in like a town. I forgot the name, but they were like, when I was there, they're like, oh yeah, like JR Smith is here. And they're like, oh, you got to check out his store. And I was like, oh, what? Yeah. And I, I was like in your store. It was, yeah, uh, down, <laughs> what down was South the... Jersey. It's in Prineville. It's by. It's where my grandmother's house used to be. Uh, yeah. When, it, when her house burned down, we uh, we leveled it and put a store there. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. And they get like shoes in there and like jerseys and shit. Like it's pretty cool. And then they got a pizzeria. Yeah. It's fire. No, of course, of course, Los would find the pizzeria shoe combo. Dude, <laughs> they got the pizzeria, they got cheese sticks over there. Yeah, bro, Swish, no. you, ain't not, you ain't you ain't invited nobody. You don't care. Hey, team field bro, trip. We, we gotta go, Los. I'm gonna tell you right now, RJ, you ain't coming this far, South Jersey, brother. Nope. Exactly. Right, Philly, <laughs> Philly. When I if Philly makes it and I gotta go work the NBA finals, I'll go. I'll go. I'll come mess with you down inside. Is that close? Is that yeah. Philly? It's close like a, uh, 45 minutes. Uh, I'll sit in a car on my way to Atlantic City. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, we appreciate your time, JR. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, everyone, you know, please. Man. Appreciate y'all, bro. Love you, Swish, man. Love you, Love man. You, We're rooting bro. for you. We're rooting for you job, for the bro. rest. Yep. Swish Gaming, follow him. JR Smith, everybody. Hey, this is Wake Up Basketball. We're going to take three minutes, and we'll be right back with more show. I'm going to take 20 minutes. I'm out. Lowe's got to take a shit again, I think. All right, oh, welcome. It's not, not this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> welcome back to Wake Up Basketball. I think that was a producer calling Los. He's going to get fired for asking Jarrah Smith about Lamicky. What, what was going through your head, man? Dude, dude, I listen. I I fuck. I was. I fucked up. I don't know. Listen, I don't know if I got nervous. I don't know. But Jr. Like one of my favorite players of all time. So no, no it was, I, it, it was cute. Honestly, it was quite adorable. Los, it was it was mm -hmm. adorable. It was like one of those things that just no, no regret. No, I don't no want regret. to be adorable. Nah, bro, what the fuck is this, dude? I didn't mean <laughs> no, to say. Listen, man. Hey, wait, when was the last time that like people saw you fanboying and like getting like weird and awkward? And it's like so, like, what's your favorite? I, I was color? at your store, Mister. Like, what's your Stan? favorite color? I don't, uh, I don't think I was getting that. Like, okay, uh, all I'm saying is, I, you, all right, I was what I wanted to say, chat. You yeah, you, a, you told me to end my stream. You literally told me to end stream. Fuck you. Um, I was gonna say like, I was just, all I was gonna afraid. say was, yo, what are you? What it like? What does LeBron? You're stuttering now. LeBron You're stuttering shit. now, Los. You're stuttering no, now. I got thrown off because they put the Los race shit up. All right, Los, I'm gonna do you a favor. We're gonna go right in the featured chat at the break. Right. We asked you guys to literally ask us anything, unless it's about LeBron James. So let, let's go through some of these questions from our viewers here and it's the least chat. favorite part of my day. Richard, you got to we just got to answer these. These people have given us their time. We don't have to do Patience. shit right now. <laughs> All right. Nit Sudge, what do the Pistons need to accomplish in the draft for agency to succeed? Again, I, what you said anything about LeBron. The Pistons, the Pistons need to do the, if the Pistons could get re, uh, uh, relegated to the NCAA, I think they would have a <laughs> chance. <laughs> All right, Los, you have anything for the Pistons, or should we move um, on and save them? In all, ser in all jokes aside, Jeremy Grant is is pretty good. Uh, yeah. I think he's going to keep getting better. But besides that, no, the Pistons are are horrible. Yeah, okay, I, next I, one. I, honestly, if they could go to the CBA or they could go play in the same league that J Cole was in, <laughs> I think that would probably be the best. Whatever, wherever the Shanghai Sharks are, just go yes. there. Yeah, the yeah. Shanghai Pistons. Okay, I think great. they're in Shanghai, Los. All right, Green Toad asks, where will Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan go this offseason? Are they trying to reunite them? Where are they going? Lakers, maybe? I know we both those guys have been targets to the Lakers. Where where could these guys end up? Richard? I don't know. I, I, I think Kyle, I don't know. I think they both want their money. Uh, are they both I, free agents? Yeah, I think so. I think Kyle, they're both sure. free agents. Uh, and I don't think DeMar DeRozan is very, very good. I think the Lakers would take him, but I don't know if he's a great, great, great fit because they need shooting and he's not a shooter. So while he's a great slasher, great finisher, and I think he could still be a bucket, like I'm saying DeMar is, DeMar is a monster. There's not a disrespect, but it's like, 
if you need shooting. Like, how good would Ben Simmons and DeMar DeRozan be together? Neither of them mm -hmm. shoot threes. Like, not in this mm -hmm. day and age. So, uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know where those guys go. Uh, before, Lois, we'll have you respond, but before we go to your response, we do have a poll that we want you guys to vote on. Did I ever go to pool parties? Somebody knows those answers. Damn right I did. Twitch Sports, go to this poll. We want to ask you Anchors guys. Anchors Away by Delta Gamma. No one cares about that. <laughs> Anchors Away by Delta Gamma is a okay. great one. Uh, Pi Fi used to have a great one. The ZBT boys, they, they used to have one, but they got kicked off campus for some things that I'm not going to say on this chat. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I used to go to all the pool parties. Funny story, I'll never forget. I was about to go play in the NBA Finals, and I called my boys. I was like, hey, what are you guys doing? They're like, man, we got to go. We got to go. I'm like, where are you guys going? They're like, oh, oh so-and-so's having a pool party. And I had never been more sad. And I was like, why am I about to play in my dream, like, NBA Finals? And I'm bummed that my boys are getting to go to the pool party. All right, guys, no. great show today. No, hey, we got fire. 10 more minutes. to fire. <laughs> Daddy Rich, please stay. Hey, we do have a new poll. Was Los nervous during the JR interview? Yes. One, what one the for hell yes. Is that? Oh, for yes. No. Yes, I want to see this. We got to wait. I don't think yeah. I was nervous. You didn't, you, you were what? stuttering what afterwards. That? I don't think I was nervous at all. You asked him about LaMickey. Do we <laughs> call him that? No, Those are the you words you said to his, his teammate. I said we troll him. Yeah, that's a troll. You're like, hey, what's up, LaMickey? Like, that's a joke, right? Like, like, why are you trolling our guests? JR like, took time out of his day I'm to come and talk to us, and you had to ask him about LaMickey. But, but LaMickey, like, that's, but that's not a troll. Like, it's is that a so troll? It's ridiculous. Like, it's so dumb. Like, I thought, like, maybe. Yes, like, that's, that's why we were surprised that you said it. Oh All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm he, so against the Mickey shit. The fact that I even said that, Chad, that was for you, and I still got shit on for it. What are what are the, some other Lamicky? Like you, you, you can't you can't mess with the chat like that, Los. You know you can't give them what they want. La Bubble, what was your what was another question you're gonna ask Jr? I would love to hear what I, questions you didn't ask. I wanted to actually ask him about. Um, I, I'm mad I didn't say this. I wanted to mention like. Dude, that that famous the famous block in 2017, 2016, that shit is impossible without Jr's defensive Defense. play on that. Like, mm -hmm. it's not possible. Yeah, I wanted to mention that to him, but I forgot to. Well, do yeah. you think you're gonna have another opportunity to talk to Jr after that interview? I don't think so. I, I, <laughs> I I'm just being honest with you. Like, maybe season two, maybe season two, maybe Jr. So you think the chances of him being like, man, that dude Los was cool, man. We should hit it up, man. Maybe play some golf or- Wait, 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 there's a pick. comment in the chat. Mr. Smith, 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 I, I, I went to your pizza store. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Mr. Smith. I never did right, that, bro. Hey, the, the results are in on the poll. That's, that that's made my day. Now, honestly, <laughs> that that chat right there made my day. I'll like I'll do this. They should too. be a guest. Whoever said that deserves wow. minutes. Like I'm, I'm alive. Yeah, no, wow. This is, no, this is a a zero. Is that this is our is first. Fake. No, this is this clip is it. Clip it. That's our we, first we have, If you look in the chat, that's true. All ones. No one voted no. You were nervous. This is bull. This is bull. No, because I voted no. So that's why I know it bullshit. <laughs> he goes, I voted no. <laughs> so I know they didn't count my vote. It's fucking bullshit. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> Mr. Smith. <laughs> what else do we have? This show has gone off the rails. CJ's been like, no, 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 no. CJ. No, he, CJ. Dude, Richard, can you say Mr. Smith now? <laughs> I mean, Mr. Smith. I, I went to your pizza store and had sneakers there. Dude, nobody ought to do. Can we end the show? I want to end the show. I I'm was. Like, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk off. You know. I'm gonna walk off. I would just say I was asking. Yo, my cheek. Well, don't go anywhere. Like, my cheeks are hurting, though. My cheeks are hurting. <laughs> my cheek. My like. Mister. Uh, that Mr. shit. You read that? That stop was doing, funny. Stop doing stand up. Listen, man, I gotta, I gotta entertain our crowd. Okay, um, let's go to feature chat. <laughs> no, it's um, not gonna feature, feature chat, bro. chat says, uh, okay, they changed it on me. I was gonna keep going with the bit. Okay, hey, yeah. Los, I recently followed your bets and I'm now having my house foreclosed. Any advice? Oh, double down, bro. Get your parents. <laughs> double down. Get your parents' cars, house. 
be like, yo, I promise, I promise I'm gonna double that for you. And then you uh, gotta get it back, that's it. You know, what is it? If my house was foreclosed. I, 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 like, the, I like the reaction is like, what do you do? Double down, do it again, Just do it again. <laughs> Hey, look, I'm riding with Lowe's. I'm riding with Lowe's on any bet. We got to make, I don't even, this is, look, Lowe's. I'm down to end it. I have a lot of vices. Gambling is not one of them. So, like, you tell me what we're going to bet for next week. Okay, next week. Oh, how do we? No, okay, no, no, I'm saying, this it's game. the next week's show. I'm saying, like, <laughs> what game, what game is tonight? What games are tonight? The Brooklyn? Nets, that's what I'm saying. I think okay, we can so bet this one. What? I think, okay. Nets, I think Nets close it out tonight. <laughs> Lows, lows. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's 100%, but there's a 95% chance that this game, is this series is gonna go to seven. Now, you, there's a more likely chance that the Bucks come out and beat the breaks off the nets in the mm -hmm. first like three quarters. The best situation that could ever happen for the nets is Milwaukee blows them out and then they just don't play KD and James Harden like very much in the second half or in the fourth quarter. They just sit them, right? Because now they're able to get rest, which would kind of go to the theory of if you don't play them and they're fully rested, now that's it. So do this for me, Los. Mm -hmm. Just do this for me one time. Bet Milwaukee. Bet Milwaukee. It ha I'll, he has bet to believe I'll bet a thousand dollars with you. I'll bet a thousand dollars with you. Does you he believe that though? You want me to put a thousand on Milwaukee tonight? Yes. Only if you believe it. Only if I you will bet. It. Listen, I will bet a thousand with you. I can't do it, dude. I'm sticking <laughs> with my nets. I'm sticking with the nets tonight. My nets. This is it. Net in Stop six. doing it to my <laughs> nets. Stop <laughs> doing it to my tonight. nets. Let's go. Hey, Nets fans, you know who to blame. The Lowe's curse Nets. has yet to be disproven. Um, and shout out to Feature Chat. Yes, I do I do call RJ daddy, um, and I do bully <laughs> Lowe's. Listen, we're all getting it on this show. Uh, I'm embarrassed for a lot of reasons, but Lowe's said my Nets. Let's not forget that. We have that clipped. We'll put right. on several hard drives. <clears throat> Can't run away from it. Lowe's got that Charles Barkley curse, LOL. Um, yeah. We should hey, put man. up, hey, can we can we prepare this graphic for next week? Let's compare Lowe's prediction record to Barkley's. That's a stat graphic I want to see. Oh, wow, yes. Um, I actually had a picture. I don't know if the producers have this. I wanted to show Richard. Can the producers pull this up? It's the picture of me when I was younger. Oh, yes. I'm wearing the jersey. Do we have that? This I want to I want to show this. Give us, yeah, one second. We're pulling it up. We have so much funny shit on you that <laughs> they're literally searching for it right now. Well, they got it? Oh, Look at this. Oh, oh, yes. That's, there we go. Is that Young Lowe's? That's Young Lowe's. Yo, you had a building. Ow, with the VC. Yo. I got the VC. I do have the VC. I did have a Jason Kidd and a Richard Jefferson. Oh, fuck. I don't need you to have In my blue. jersey. I don't, I don't need it. But that is dope. I, I love the red. Mm -hmm. The red hey, that jersey. That thing would go dope. for a lot on eBay. A red alternate. Do you still have that or no? I still have it. I do. I do still have it. Does it still fit? Oh, well, you didn't need it. End the show. And the, no, actually, end the show. Richard. the show right now. Daddy, that was I was asking if it still fits. Because if, how about this? How about the bet is you have to wear that jersey. You have to wear that jersey if, uh, <laughs> if Brooklyn loses. Listen, listen. I will go get that jersey from my parents' house. If Brooklyn loses tonight, I will wear that next stream. That jersey. Love it. Exact hey. jersey. And hat, and hat, and that MLB. No, 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 I didn't wear a hat. I just want that jersey. I want you on that jersey. I will get that jersey from my parents' house. I will wear it next show if the Nets lose tonight. It will, will you wear it? Will it fit, to be honest? We're going to find out. No, 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 no. We're going to find out. All right, all right. That's, That's the it. bet. That's, That's the it. Bet. That's how we're in the show. Guys, watch the Nets tonight to see if the Lowe's curse is real. And if they lose next Thursday, we're going to get to see Lowe's put on a size medium Vince Carter net I'm out. alternate. I got to start doing some push-ups. I'm out. Hey, push-ups aren't going to save you. You only got seven days. Guys, this has been Wake Up Basketball. I, honestly, maybe the most fun episode we've had. These keep getting better. Shout out to my co-host, Daddy Rich, Los Poyos TV. Get out of there. You guys can leave. I got to clean this shit up. I'm done. I'm done. You guys I'm left done. so much damage I'm behind. I'm done. I, I'm, I, I don't want to talk. Next Thursday, wake up basketball. Thank you, J.R. Smith.
Shit. Watch the games tonight. Enjoy.